no bailar este tango sin par que resonga en la orquesta. Vamos a vestir de fiesta el corazón que hasta la noche de hoy se presta. Que gusto va seguir ese compás pasando mucho más y tan amigo. Vamos por hoy a bailar que el salón encendido nos espera. En el salón quedó mi juventud, deja la juventud. Siguiendo huellas de tango no me perdí ni la noche, siempre bailando, bailando. En el salón de mi corazón me he vendido una ilusión. Así, tal vez arrinconado, me de haber pensado de esperar de su amor. One more Tuesday, last Tuesday of Barrida. Now I for real don't know which number is it. Sí, que es el number four. Number have... four of Barridas. Number four of Barrida. I don't know how many Barrida there are, but there are more than four. But as a Tuesday, this is the number four. Yeah? We have a deferred variation, yeah, you saw it on the video. You have a deferred time, you have a bar cross, and you have a barrida for her in the forward cross forward. Let's take a quick review for everything so we know where we are. Because uh, the first part you did was this and this, and we take it the parada, by Once she went over, we move our foot, we hook in the back, she passed over. Okay, we change the mind, she go backward, yeah, she sweeping, then she went, now we go to the second week. Side, here, rotation, sweeping, she's up, separation, we do the cross, she's back. Third week. One, two, three, side, one, two, Three and over. Five. Right here we have more resolution and stuff. Now we go for the quad, for the la cuarta semana, the fourth week, la cuarta semana. Uh, in this case, we're going to do a repetition of the barrida, getting for the back cross for both of us. We're going to practice it as a single base you can use in any moment when you go to any milonga. You can use in different type of music, that depends on the energy, the dynamic that you put. Today we choose this song in the Salon by Ricardo Tanturi uh, with Enrique Campos. And it has an, uh, they have a nice rhythm. This music has a nice rhythm on the back, but it's very calm. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it has very nice, nice rhythm on the back of the music. Now, uh, we're gonna start with this bass. We're gonna make it very simple. You're gonna see how easy it is. And then we're going to review all the technique for the barrida, what you're supposed to be doing and not doing it. You're already coming practicing three weeks, but maybe some people can catch up in the last week. Uh, we have to review a little bit the technique, what the barridas are. Because in this case, we're going to take a normal base. Let's take it for the one loss. One, two. When we take it the two, I'm going to put my foot very much preparing not to block her completely, but close by to her. Close by inch in front of her foot. So, so when we arrive in the both, we're gonna be with backward. So in that position, my foot is gonna complete to get close to her. So, so we both going and then back cross. Fine. So, so let's take it up for different angles. So, so when I say I'm gonna take it for this, we do the side, and I am not all the way in the back. Because if I do that, we're gonna, gonna block completely her foot. 
It's a little bit in front of her foot. You're gonna see in a little bit for another angle. Because when I be taking the movement, be pivoting backward, or be walking backward, not pivoting, my foot is like and accommodate next to her foot. Yeah? Now, let's take it for another angle. Let's take it for this angle from here to there. You can see for a little bit diagonal, you can see for size of Anita's foot. But I go there, I come in here, not there, just a little bit in front. And I don't touch in her foot yet. My foot is separated. So once you turn for the way, that rolling bring the foot millimeter closer. This going backward, I'm gonna keep the foot even closer. I can put my foot even more inside because I never do that. And then we're gonna start to have the body. Right? It's very simple. Let's, uh, let's talk about what we should not be doing. Again, not doing it in this moment because it uh, doesn't mean it's, it's wrong forever, just for comfort side. So, so what we do, we want to take it the ball so we're doing one, two. Don't overgo all the way there, right? Because you're going to be a little bit comfortable with the upper leg. First thing you should not be doing. It. Second thing you should not be doing, it besides this, is to build it too much and get too close with the leg behind because you have no space to sweep. Again, that doesn't mean that that's wrong. There are the other formats and other things that you can do in there more bigger, more staging and different things. We're not gonna be working on those. So, so what we need to do is to keep the position and send our body like a one B, yeah, and like a, a little bit a B position, you see, and we're gonna, try, we're gonna try to don't go straight back because we don't feel, our hip doesn't feel. So say for where she is, I'm gonna try to in, in, uh, send her in that direction, like into the corner, and I go to the other corner. So we have a, this B position, not too wide, <laughs> yeah, because if you're going too wide to the side, it don't go that work but not too narrow because we got to pass. So we need to feel that we're doing enough the sensation to we can uh, uh, navigate comfortably and our feet can pass easily. So, so basically you have to imagine that when you both reach your axis, you shouldn't be pulling each other off, right? So it, it, it has to be, the distance has to be comfortable for both. Yeah, you have to even, yeah, ni pulling or pushing uh, anything like this. If you go too much apart, you're gonna feel like the body is ah, pulling up. If yeah, you go too you close, you stretch you. it's too mm. narrow. When it's too narrow, it's not good neither, right? So say, let's take it uh, as a shot. We take a bandosa, one, two. I prepare my foot right there, and back, right? And I am not going too close, here. So say, there, I sweep. Inside and there, in that possibility, in that position, right? I could practice it, we will by now, to go back. So say, we know what is the comfort of those joints, of those hips, again. You see in that doing this, and remember we're doing the same. I lead her, I lead her. I am not just moving my leg or pushing her hard or pushing her hard, no. We communicate, we communicate, we communicate, we communicate, yeah? Uh, one more thing I don't know if you're gonna talk about it now or later is in this moment, you see he's leading me that side step, but like he, his leg is already there, so he's not leading me and then trying to step over me. He's sending his leg ahead of time and then leading me towards his leg. So that's kind of important so you don't uh, trying to judge where her foot is. You're gonna possibly step on her trying to reach out. Yeah. So that's a little trick because that's kind of unusual to send the leg sideways. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, the thing is, uh, over here we have a, in a, a big... Uh, we're gonna have to, again, we go with the big, big topping or talkings of, of these actions. Um, the, side, the side step uh, generally is, um, you might remember, you might not remember because you're 
in the beginner you do many things and you um, forget later on because you will not remember bad thing or good thing happens because the body processing like a kid for nine months one year olds when they are five six or seven they don't remember no longer the information the wheel is very blurry when you start to do any normal side step pretty much you side step standing in vertical position is along with the hips right yeah and then when you start to do in a, a the beginner lesson the teacher asks you to lean over and to have this sensation and the first side step the both of you do the movement fall inside because so anytime you do a side step the step fall inside because you have no control of the gravity right so because you say side step and the body falls the foot fall inside because the gravity makes the pendulum fall over there but then by training by the teacher telling you side step side step you look in the mirror 200 times you we out sometimes the teacher we say it sometimes we don't because your body does alone if your body does alone you know when i bothering to make you noticing that but when you are here the side step there is here remain here on the space right but not in your body that means when i go forward the side step is in the gluteus right now because when you send the side step on the gluteus the body goes in line but if in this position you send the side step to here, you're gonna still go into that. This is a mistake for the beginning. Well, we need that mistake over here. Let's so see, I need to send the side step not straight ahead to the side, so it's a little bit more falling into the curve. Yeah, like a, you're drawing an eye, right? The end of the eye. So you need to, to make it a foot dropping. Meaning, I feel that from her. I do not have to pull, it's just in a small sensation toward this side of mine, to, to my side. Means when I lead the movement, I am not leading her with, I'm gonna exaggerate it, with this torsion, yeah? I leading her with this torsion, right? Meaning the sensation. Don't confuse the torsioning as a creating a space or pivoting. It's a small sensation. Now, if when it's just a big and deep, deep conversation here, and this side step, um, when I do the side, if I create this cylinder, yeah, to her, yeah, this cylinder, you will remember this for the intermediate, uh, the first lesson, intermediate lesson, lesson number one of intermediate, we working. We work in, in these actions a lot, those cylinders a lot. So, so that cylinder, we do not use exact that sensation right here. We use the opposite, the rolling in this direction. That means if I do a normal cylinder that is in that direction, right, her leg is gonna go straight to the side. If I propose her to go here, right, I send the she respond and I move there. So say now I am already in a head because I already know this is coming here. Yeah? I am not as I need to say sending and then I try to go because uh, you might be stepping on her because your leg is too far away right now from one side to the other to calculate it. That will be one point to you can send the energy in and move your foot to see can touch it. Because as a practicing, you can put your foot there and bring her to your leg, like uh, here, 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 here. When you're done there, you change your weight, then you go backward and you find the barrier. That could be it's a good practicing point that you can do over there, meaning you prepare, again, not don't create this yeah, to her, that sensation done at this moment. Put your foot and bring her there. Meaning, no behind me, maybe the camera show you wrong, here now, there. Now you're going to the opposite corner of the room. I have this corner and that corner. So I'm going 
to that corner of the room with her. Now, when I feel her foot very much, I turn off my way, and I go back, and there, right? Now, when I say there that you feel the foot, you're gonna feel the, that heat or that touch. But when you transfer the way, do not try to, to transfer the way down. You're gonna move the foot in the direction that you are navigating. Meaning, I am here, she's coming to me, I try to transfer the way in that direction and not down there. Because of there you come in her nail, her shoes, and largo on in, in that part. It's a, it, it is a tricky, but do not try to aim to her heel. Do not look, and also for you girls, do not try to make it because that sensation, oh, I have to go there, aiming too hard in that direction, because it's not good for you. What, what is not good for you there? His, uh, if I'm taking this position, yeah, you can see it here, right? It is my heel right there. And for sure, they're gonna, their heel is gonna be more higher than mine. If you go too hard in, you're gonna hit with your toe, with your nail and your toe, his heel is not pleasant at all, right? Because so we try to prevent incident, right? They said there are small details, you need to work on it but uh, it has to be careful, it doesn't, we're going to take a different position from here, so you can see it, right? Let's say I am sending my foot and I bring it her there, but uh, she will not try to kick, I'm going to leave my heel so she pass through all the way in because she's going to hit, if my heel is on the floor, she's going to hit herself. So it's very much, very gentle to the foot, and now, and don't try to go too much in because that will not help just there. When I turn my way, I turn my way in that direction and not, one more time, let me go here, and not to the floor, it's escaping, come on, do anything. As you turn in that direction and then back and then you're gonna find the foot and the sweep. And then we're gonna practice this in, the sweeping, the sweeping, the sweeping and the sweeping, all right? More or less, guys, good, that's enough. You can try a little bit, do a pose, and then do play again, right? You practice that part a few times, back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, till you get it clean. Now, let's go with the next part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What we're gonna do? The same. Why not, right? We repeat the same. And I do not suggest to do more than two. Uh, it's not very nice. There, shifting, back, sweep, up to center, wall back again, sweep again. Yeah? And then we can just rewind and take a different direction, movement, da -da 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 -da, whatever you want to do. We are here, right? We have it again. And one, two, and three. Four, right? And side. And sweep back, or sweep back there, or sweep back there, or change the way here. Yeah. Find something to do. Don't do more than two, trust me. Because it's coming, um, the body starts to fall apart. And you're gonna feel good the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. You're gonna start to to feel off and or gonna start to feel wrong or, or start to be wrong and unfortunately because that's the last two or three or four that you do your body will remember those will not remember the first one that's it you do two good stop there if you feel one good and you feel like the next one is gonna be awkward and comfortable don't do it yeah a specific in those movements because when you do it uh, with such an awkward feeling in the body it's not a good treatment for the body Just cut there Start again. When you feel the second one is coming good, just do it correct. If you have two good, stop right there. Memorize this and go forward. Now, on, if you are to do two, there is that moment where our feet are, because we move, yeah, we sweep the feet, our feet are very close, and now we're both coming to that collision here, yeah? 
So, uh, why don't you talk about it? <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> No, it's a very, as you observe, it's the same action that we did before, right? Uh, let's, talk, let's talk about for, for, for a small uh, time of this. When you put the food there, right, uh, to make it very, very logistic in there, yeah, tuck the food there here, the access point right now, my access, head access, and the shared access, yeah, is on the common axis, it's gonna be all together around here. But it's not in a colgada. We don't we don't overcross in. Yeah, we are not overtaken. It's not a colgada. If it's a colgada we'll be overtaking the axis and sending it out and create different direction, different sensation. But we're not overtaking the axis. Does it, this is this is it. now if it is the axis, my body that will go in that direction, and here body gonna go in that direction. So we're gonna meet in this common point. This is our common axis that we're gonna meet. So what we got there, that's the common axis, and we go back again, and we sweep, yeah? And we go again, again, and we sweep. But again, do not confuse, doesn't mean that you cannot do a colgada. Again, that's not, not, not what we want to say. No, you cannot do a colgada. You can do a colgada, easily. But it is not yeah, a colgada position. Yeah. It is not that a colgada position. Do not practice that way for the moment. As the experiencing is growing, we could make it, we can make it more churn and more everything, ta -da -da -da. why not? Right? So we have a one, two, we have to this point, achieve to this axis and go back. And Ta, back, and then sweeping. Ta, bring her back, and do whatever, again, whatever you can do to feel comfortable to practice it again. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, touching, and back, side, back, I can make it now go over here too. Yeah, that's another resolution. So you have many possibilities. One touch. Up and side. One second. And maybe fit together. And maybe go over those again. One, two, three, four. Together. Back, side. Page. Right? So, very much, <laughs> there you have um, two barrida, very calm, very easy to go, to add to the other set that we have. Of course, do you what you see in us is look very easy. It is easier, maybe in the beginning it won't be, in the first moment that you try, but uh, do not, uh, one more thing to don't do, two. They do not, don't hold uh, to each other because that's something that maybe they might be doing. We're gonna do a quick demonstration there. But so when you get into this point and you're gonna go, do, do, do not hold to each other and the hands or nothing. Just separate. Let your body separate. To she has to be comfortable, I have to be comfortable. We're going to get a little bit closer to each other and separate again. Yeah? That's something that you, you, you can practice in, uh, or you should practice in that way. Meaning, do not tense up and the hands are tense and no, nothing. Sit, separate, sweep, get together, separate, get together, separate. You're gonna feel a lot of elasticity in that moment on the break, right? All right, let's go with the, the more difficult part. That was the easy part. You think you're gonna be all like this? And no. it's a warm up. Just, just, exactly, just a warm up. Now it's coming the difficult part. The crown duel. <laughs> and you're gonna, it's gonna be the crown, but you're gonna cry too for that. And I hope you don't, but that's what's gonna happen. We are mean to you know. That's it. We're gonna do very simple. Again, we're gonna start with the baldosa. Do it very easy. 
fa. E se vi vado a do per esempio, 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 vi vado a do per a tiny bit of a volcada, a tiny bit of a volcada, and then we have to do what a volcada is, right? And this is dragging of the foot in the hip. Yeah? So she can take later on a side step, and we can take a walk, and we can go to the base. Right? Tiny bit of the volcada. Maybe we're going to go for another four weeks for that. But so let's take again the, this uh, close look in this moment. So, so we have uh, the side step, right? Very much in this moment, we bring the side step in the same as the practicing, because we end then with this uh, end part of the movement, right? So, so I got into a kind of sandwich, and I'm going to move my foot back a little bit, right? So, so you see I move my foot backward a little bit, and from there, I take the a little bit leaning on her, on me. Then you're gonna see in the foot this action, which one I take the foot with me into a cross. Yeah, I bring it to the axis. Piece of it together, and we go into a chunk. Right? Let's try one more time. Then we have a. One, I'm gonna send the foot in as we wanna finish the 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 the, 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 the last barrier because you're gonna take it from there. I'm gonna make my foot a sandwich, I'm gonna move my left foot tiny bit back. As you see, it's not back here, it's not back open. Yeah, I'm gonna let it incline on me a little bit, which one I have a support between her uh, left leg. Her right leg and my left leg. That's the our body support, like a little hand. Now we bring the foot in. I go back to the axis to she finish her cross completely. I bring her to the side and we can go to a base to the cross or any other action in that. So, uh, there, there we have um, the, the way how we do it. Let me show you for different angles. So you can see, uh, you appreciate the foot work in the different position. You can see very much what's going on. So say, let's do one more time this, this format. We have it, so we're gonna go one and a two, but so you're gonna have a very close look. I'm gonna let you use the same format as the last barrier. You're gonna have a very nice look in the feet. I move my foot backward. I propose her to incline to me. I elevate her foot and rotate all the way around. I go back to her axis. Feet together for her very much like a sandwich, very elegant, side step for her, ready to go to the base, to the cross, or any other direction, right? Let's show for different angle quickly, so you can see for different uh, format how the footwork is. So you have it. One, I send the two in like the last barrida, and approach and I do a sandwich to her. I move my foot back. By as I say, no back here, back open. I incline her to me, and then I elevate my foot and take the moving into the cross. I bring her to her axis. I now when I move her to my left, which is the side step, I transfer my weight completely to my right. Yeah, so we can go in another direction. So let's do from this angle. We have a, we send her foot as the last barrida. I make a sandwich. I move my foot back. I make her incline into the angle. I take the foot, make into the cross. So say now, when I move her into my left, I transfer my way to my right, and now we go into the base to the cross. And that action right there. That's enough. Let's take a different angle for a second. That would be the last one we showed. So you can have appreciation for different uh, form of what happened to our feet. One, send the foot into the kind of red, the last end of the last barrida. 
you've sent us a sandwich, move your foot back there, no, but here, right? Back open there. Incline toward the axis, and you see my foot there saying hi, right? This high, bring the, her leg up and put it to the other side. She cross, bring her to the axis to she on one. Propose her the side, change your weight, and go straight ahead to the base to the cross. We're not gonna turn everything to a, a volcada right now. We don't. We might be continuing mm -hmm. on the future with this. is a nice thematic to continue forward all together. But one detail you're gonna, I don't want to go too deep in the uh, volcadita. No? I want to just go a little bit back to say, you see, can I move my foot back very little. And then when I incline, I try to feel like I am elevated, like I'm flying. So that way she feel comfortable. Yeah? Don't transfer your way back and start to collapse. You know, she's gonna feel in panic. Yeah, it, 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 it does not feel like a very strong volcada, it more feels like a little stretch. But if he stepped away, I can still sustain myself. I'm a little bit like hanging over, but I, 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 can, I can be here, yeah? So it's not huge, but it does feel the sensation, mostly because when we have those feet together, we sort of coming to a very constrained space. So in this moment, what might happen, you might feel like you have to go to your heel to make space for him, which is not a huge difference, yeah, but maybe a couple of millimeters, yeah? So because you feel like you are on the heel, when, when he takes the foot back and he kind of transfers the weight over, then you getting, you re, first you're regaining your normal position and then tiny bit more. So there is a slight uh, difference, a slight sensation from like a little bit of colgada to a tiny bit more of uh, volcada. Volcada, volcada. <laughs> colgada, volcada, that's all that thing. Well, uh, to leaning, right? She's, she's, she's that, that leaning. And, uh, but you, as a leader, please try to make her comfortable there because even in this moment, Anita is very comfortable in her access. That doesn't mean that you follow who will be, yeah? Because she might feel the direction to go there and she's gonna try to lean. If you propose to her down position or two back and you are not ready, she's gonna fall, right? And it's very awkward to feel the sensation of falling in here. So for a second, you know, for those who are not familiar, uh, what's Colgada, what's Volcada, yes? Because I used both names, but we didn't specify what is what, yes? So Volcada, uh, both, both Colgada and Volcada, um, rely on the mutual axis yes so we are relying on each other mutual axis of the couple in case of volcada we are leaning towards each other which is not 50 50 yes but that's another story yes but we are leaning towards the common axis and in the colgada we hanging off of the common axis so why did i say colgada and then volcada because for a second, when, when we have those feet together, we kind of interrupting each other's spaces. Mm -hmm. So for a second, there is a tiny bit of a, uh, you know, that sensation that we are, you know, occupying each other's spaces, yes? Yeah? So the similar sen sensation to right before the colgada for real happens. And then from here, he steps away and I pass to the volcada. So I start leaning on him. The sensations are very small, but if you never experienced before, it feels you, huge. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna sense them. You're gonna sense them. It's very unusual sensation. Uh, maybe you feel that before you believe it's not correct. It's not correct if it didn't mean to be done. This is what we mentioned in the beginning of the movement. Okay, what we do this, 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 this barrida bits right before the barrida be getting close to a colgada, but we are not doing a colgada because uh, uh, we don't want to go too deep into those directions because it's half a lot of more exercises, a lot of more to understand it and those two. But in a short word, too, to you know, and as a word, you start to prepare it for the future, colgadas and volcadas, they are interpretation or new interpretation of the axis or the common axis when we dance. Normally we have it in the center, we split. By now we depend on it. 
basically. Uh, something we, we, we share that common axis. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and uh, observe, we're going to show one more time, we're going to show a few more times here, yeah, but observe when Hernan uh, talks about this leg back and the transfer of the weight. Also, the, there is interesting uh, thing happening. I'm not there, I cannot see it, but I feel it. So, uh, because if I'm leaning forward and he's leaning backwards, then we both gonna fall the same direction, kind of domino effect. So he's stepping backwards, but he's not transferring not his back. axis fully and he's not passing his axis backwards. So that is almost like he's prompting me forward, like he's supporting me. I say, you feel like you elevate it and it stay toward her. Do not go back, don't sink. And here, problem with the back and also she's gonna feel like she's collapsing. No, 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 no yeah. sensation. Because it's a, um, later on, I mean, it happens, I'm going to teach and sometimes come in a lady or the girls to say, oh, uh, oh, I'm gonna do a colgada. No, I'm so scared for that because they already had bad experiences before. And anytime you have bad experiences, it's very hard to break that habit, right, of that uh, tense because you already feel of falling. So say, treat this very gentle, very carefully. I'm gonna do for this angle, this moment, you see it. I have it here. I got into this moment that we, we are doing a sandwich. We share this axis with each other. I put my foot back, but not going with my back back or yet. I put my foot back and I roll in into the arch of this foot, not, if, even if I go to my heel, it's fine, okay, but not this, yeah, it's not that, I still give a support, and I feel a little bit of elevation, why the elevation is for, so I can release more comfort and more connection on her foot, right, and this foot, and this free leg, there, or here, or there, or here, and feel, yeah, where the leg can be. So when I feel the ground, I make her get comfortable to her axis. Because now she's in, in her own value center very much. Before, I have her a little bit more in this direction, and now here, right? So now I propose her to unwind completely, side step, we're rotating and we're going to the base to the cross as a resolution. Right. You can practice this for a little bit, do a pose. Let's, show the, whole, let's show the whole pattern how yeah. to practice. And then you can work with the whole combination. Uh, you want to practice completely with the whole pattern with the no, two barriers? The whole, the whole, this <laughs> whole, whole part. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's, let's show you this quickly. How to go in a one, two, three, fast, and then you finish, and then you do again, and do again, and do again, a few times, and then we put it all together. So again, baldosa, one, there, feet together, back, lean, elevation, leg, crossing, transfer the way, find the axis for her to she can unwind, transfer the way to the side, transfer the way to your right leg, now she land, on her, on, her, on her left leg, you land on your left and you take a walk to cross in a cross system, right? Let's just do a few more times and we have it. One, stop two, sandwich three, back four, elevation five, drag six, jump away seven, axis eight. Yeah, she's collecting, we send to the side, Pivoting, shift to the way, back to the cross and cross system, and we're done. And from there we can take it again. One, two, sandwich, back, leaning, elevation, dragging, crossing, axis, sizing, transfer, back to the cross. And again, one, and two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can take a very easy,
calm, relaxing, don't rush. Important for us over here, if the follower feel they need a more uh, time, give it more time. What is gonna be the difficulty of all this uh, part? What will be the more difficult thing? First, you're gonna find a little sensation of the volcada, a little awkward, but then you're gonna find it uh, funny and, and, and cute. But the drag of the feet, you're gonna be passing through this. I'm gonna show quickly. And while you're passing through this, I need for both of you, yeah, as a couple, patient to each other to hear what's going on there because unfortunately, you cannot look to the floor. Good you idea, cannot. maybe the first time take your shoes off. <laughs> maybe, yeah, why not? Take the shoes off for her, maybe socks just for you, socks for both, to you be comfortable by. But it's gonna happen, those details, and this is fine, you're gonna be here, and then it's gonna be some, some sliding, and, and you did not find the leg, and you will be looking for feet, and, and you don't know what the leg is gonna be, and, and, and she's gonna escape, and she will not follow you because your foot is going, and escaping, so I said, try to pay attention to, she squeeze a little bit at her foot, you, you see right now, I'm elevating the foot, yeah, so I can hook her foot and feel that connection. You're gonna feel how you're gonna feel holding hands. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. You're gonna feel that with the foot. Come on, you know, see, take it for now. COVID time. Hey, hi, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Say hi with the foot, right? <laughs> but also remember there is still a lead, right? So. <laughs> That's always the solution. <laughs> it's still a lead. I mean, you, you need to keep it the legs. You need to keep it her closing. Yeah? You bring it her to her to her center, to her side. If you push her away to the to the side, if you lead her to her to your right, to her left, the movement won't work because she's gonna free her leg. She's gonna open the leg to the side. There's a lot of things you cannot do. I mean you 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 get here, put one here over in place, right? And you wanna bring the leg, but you you pushing her in that direction. So she's gonna send the foot in that direction, and you try to come in here. And you send her there, you come in here. No, keep her tight. She, you have to feel that like you got together. Okay, but you got in, and then they come in that leg going back. But when you step back and you do that elevation, everything, oops, squeeze. Then you have the leg, and then you have the drag, right? This is what's important. As I say, you, you go back there and you just like you sip, yeah? Not too much, not too much the back. I exaggerate right now, do you feel this, right? When you went to the side, sandwich, you move the foot back, sip, it just like her leg does this. From there, I, I start to create this foot up and around yeah and say feel like in my foot and scooping scooping I don't know if you ever did or for sure you did guys and a different you don't have to do a specific one or another job or things like that but I was fixing the house for a few days yeah and I saw her too and you have to fix it some hole you have the, the, the spatula I don't know how you call it in English a spatula and you have to fix some, some little things, some little hole, and you have to paint it. The same you feel with the foot, in the spatula. I want to scoop. Scoop. Oh, foot back, foot forward. Very much you can take those references. Now, another important point is to, um, I think ladies do it because, you know, like if you are in class heels or like, you know, like if you experience your ones that, like you cutting yourself with your own heels, then you have a big awareness where your but feet are. But that's good you cut with your heel. Right? That means you're getting closer <laughs> to your feet. Before you were with the foot all open. Now you're very close, they're too close. But what is important <laughs> to remember, guys, in this case, your leaders, that don't misjudge, like when you're taking her foot back and then you're placing mm -hmm. it, you know, on the other side, don't 
consider distance wise just your feet because now because you, have you, two, you have two feet traveling around her yep. standing foot so it's very important to give a little bit of a distance don't push her back onto her own foot yeah because that's too close now ladies if you feel that the disaster is coming well you know you have a big way of uh, you know kind of correcting him by simply refusing to cut yourself yeah and pushing his foot more where it needs to be right but if he, <laughs> since he's standing on one foot and carrying your weight he rather let go than you know than fight with you so you you can push a little bit more if you feel that it's too close you know mm -hmm. and if you if you are too far okay that's better than on you <laughs> yeah. so so don't be afraid to like you know to correct a little bit yeah, suggest help, help him give him a little bit of feedback by you know to redirecting if it's not release the pressure don't cross I mean you know don't get cut I mean I mean again if you get cut as always I said to the girls I'm not I cut with my heel and one boleo oh that was very good it was for a boleo and it's coming for the direction that, that was very good I mean you're getting close that was too close <laughs> you have to tune your body a little bit more away but not too far away because it looked too ugly and now ow, I cut and oh, now it's perfect See? <laughs> too close, too far away, too close. <laughs> so you know what I got too close in this practice. All right, I think we have it there. Let's do how we're gonna unite them together because we got to have we have two patterns, two two barridas, two forms of barrida, one drag, yeah, to combine them together. So let's take the moment. We have. We take the baldosa first, same position. We got into there, we got up, back, barrida one, barrida two, got to the axis, foot back, in that momento, right? Go a little bit to the cordite and feel the elevation to seek and close, and create the work up, and the drag, and the switching, and back to the cross. And we go again. And one, stopping, bring back and barrida, and barrida together. Back with my foot, volcadita, elevation, make it the cross, propose her to go to the axis, shifting and go to the base of the cross, and I cross it. And again, one, two, again in to let it go back for you, back cross it, back cross together, yeah, and then back elevation and side, and we go. All right, so now let's put in uh, all together for the exam. Right? You know that. You didn't know. This dude is an exam. We go for C minus and plus. <laughs> we aim it to C minus and plus now. I know you're gonna be good and it's an exam. So the, the whole base. What we have? First, baldosa guys. So baldosa, back ocho back crosses for her first. On the second back cross for the back coach of her, I stopped a separada, but I went around to do one barrida, second barrida. I went to the sandwich to complete the sandwich I promised to her and I didn't do, now I did. Now she's coming over. When she's passing over, I release my foot and I'm gonna go to hook for outside the arch of her foot. I'm gonna roll in that direction, change my way, She's coming over. I said, you know what? I changed my mind. I wanna wind her back and bring her to the barrida, top of my forward cross. Now, ah, you want to go over? Okay, yes, go over. So I'm gonna do a display. I wanna go with her to the side and accompany her in the direction that she's going. Remember, parallel this position. Get the feet, sweep. 
transfer accommodate my foot because I need to get a new angle. Remember here, don't send her away, send her closer but not too close. Close in the line so you can accommodate your foot behind and lead her to the cross as you sweep it. You transfer your weight to you, move around, prepare yourself for the same position the barbie that we did before, just in this case, we're gonna do three of them in place. Remember, we are not moving the axis from here. Right, because we have it. One, two, three. When I'm there, I'm gonna transfer her weight, move my foot to block the other foot. Accommodate myself to be very much in the line that we're gonna navigate, and we sweep in one, two, three, and now she's coming and over here. Side step, and I'm gonna prepare my foot, and I'm gonna move myself. So that is in a detail that we're gonna start to take it from the last barrida into here. One, yeah, up, back, side, together, back, in, and to here, axis for her, side, and we take the base to the wall. Right? To see now. Let's pay attention to link the last one into the new one. Right? So we have that, that coordination. So see what happened in the in the in the last barrier. We have for this position and we sweep in three times. Ta 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 and blocking sorry here and then we have it ta ta ta. So now she's coming over and we're taking her into the side. So I'm gonna transfer my weight to my right leg, move myself to get separada, and I'm gonna could move myself backward or where I am straight move. What I say could myself move myself backward. For the pain of the room, depending how much angle you do, you will maybe yeah, need to take a new position with your right foot to see which angle she's going. And again, back and a sweep and together, back, volcada, then back. Right? So let's take it from here as a practice. Back, barrida, one, two, three. And block it. One, two, three. And She's up, side, transfer your way to your right, move your foot into touching her foot like a parada, and very much where you are, you have the barrida uno, and back, barrida dos, feet together, and then you low back, leaning, taking, crossing, axis, sizing, and you can do that again to practice in the last part. One, two, three. Blocking. Preparation. One, two, three. She's up and side, she change the way. Block right there and one, axis, back, two, together. Volcadita, elevation, drag the foot, axis for her to be comfortable, side. And then you can have your resolution and go for the base to the cross. So there we have, you have a good thing to practice in, because you can unite it. The last one with this one and make it one nice combo. Or you can do the whole combination into here, or start to make it organize different pieces. They are all barridas, yeah? That doesn't mean uh, just a quick uh, thing here to say, to don't confuse with that. Doesn't doesn't mean that we go with this barrida by now. We you go into the milonga, and when you do barrida, you have to do just barrida. No, it's not that. We decide to do just barrida, so you can keep it more free in mind the concept of barrida. So you don't have to be searching oh today barrida, tomorrow sacada, whatever. We work in one month, yeah, four weeks. So we have a just barrida, the concept of barrida. So now our body of the tendon, 
we don't have to be researching again or oh, whatever Rida was it's very easy every week the same but again that doesn't mean like I go to the milonga I ask it to somebody to dance and because I did barrida number one I have to do 200 barrida during the whole song on the milonga because you do that mm, the girl will not be so happy and it's very tiring to do barrida 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 no do one you already know plenty by now then do something else then do another one do something else and then do another one all right that would be a good advice that they can take if they want to if it's not you don't know me you don't know her neither okay and the exam is on tuesday yeah be ready prepare and very good a minus ready for the c minor why c it's b for barida okay c minus <laughs> Vamos por otro bailar, este tango sin par que resonga en la orquesta. Vamos a vestir de fiesta el corazón que hasta la noche de hoy se presta. Que gusto da seguir ese compás, pasando mucho más y tan amigo. Vamos por hoy a bailar, que el salón encendido nos espera. En el salón quedó mi juventud, deja la juventud. Siguiendo huellas de tango no me he perdido, no. Ya siempre bailando, bailando. En el salón desde mi corazón vendido a una ilusión así tal vez arrinconado debe haber pensado de esperar su amor. 